Humanoid Robotics is like Decathlon. It combines many disciplines like mechatronics, software engineering, human motor control and control engineering. Working together in the Kogemon project, we made big strides towards creating robot behaviors that require the understanding of interaction forces. To this aim, we created a new uh, humanoid robot Komen Plus and advanced the state of the art in uh, impedance control and multi-arm control significantly. The major goal of the eight Kokemon partners is to understand how to control forces in interaction between humans and robots. To this aim, they turn the mathematics of control theory into models for engineering and software development, often based on research how humans behave. We investigate humans to understand principles of sensorimotor interaction that can inspire design of better robots. For example, we find that predictability of throwing action depends on individual throwing strategy. We use virtual reality to create novel experimental conditions that help uncover principles of interaction. The handling of large and heavy tins or boxes with multiple arms is another example of cooperative action, which is highly relevant towards industrial use. The goal to create better robot assistance is further supported by making standard industrial robots compliant for interaction. These robot arms share the same control principles and software with the much more complex humanoid robots. As advanced use case, the Kokemon scientists have for the first time ever demonstrated two humanoid robots carrying objects together using a dynamic walk. This is a benchmark for international humanoid robot research. We started by looking at how humans do this type of task and eventually discovered that synchronized gait were preferred and that some information were very useful in order to interpret and predict our partner's intention. Through this result, we were able to achieve a very nice scenario with two humanoid robots carrying objects together. The robotic control systems have also been transferred to control robots that are embedded in virtual reality. The central goal of the Kogimon project is to investigate if humanoid robots can be used to support physiotherapy. Um, since the development of these robots is relatively challenging, we have introduced virtual reality simulations of the robot, including the control system, as an intermediate step. This allows us also very nicely to adjust the difficulty levels of the behavior of the system to the skill levels of the patients. Virtual reality can be an excellent addition because thereby patients can also exercise at home and increase the intensity of the training. Dedicated compliant actuation technology enables also improved interaction with the real humanoid co-man. And finally, robot capabilities have been advanced even further in the newly designed and bigger humanoid robot Coman Plus. The fundamental goal of Kogemon is to understand interaction forces between humans and humanoid robots. This is essential for the future robotic assistance that will support humans physically as well as actively. But a lot of cooperation and multidisciplinary research is still necessary. So the Humanoid Robotics Decathlon has just started. <laughs>